Hey, what's going on YouTube? Living Proof Films back with another video. Today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to color grade your footage. If you guys are shooting music videos or any other kind of cinematic sequence, we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to show you guys how to do it without using any LUTs and actually not really using any of the uh, features within Adobe Premiere Pro. I am using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 and this is version 12.0. What we're going to be using is a plugin that's called Magic Bullet Looks by Red Giant. Um, for the entire package, I believe it's like somewhere like around $900. There are some uh, leaked versions out there that are for free. Uh, don't know where you can get those exactly, but you guys can probably look it up. There's all kinds of methods to get multiple different kinds of software. So, anyways, diving into this Magic Bullet Looks, what do is go ahead and have our clip already ready. We're gonna act like this is ready. I, I have the raw um, audio in the background and everything, but we're just gonna use this as an example here. So this is a song that we did uh, for Unique the God. Video is already up on the channel. Go ahead and go show it some love. Drop a like on that. The video came out pretty dope. So what we're gonna do is have the clip selected. We're going to go to assembly. I'm going to click on this area right here. Make sure this area is highlighted so that way you can do this. I'm going to go to New and Adjustment Layer. If you don't have this selected, the Adjustment Layer will be grayed out and you won't be able to click it. So go to New, Adjustment Layer. Make sure that all the uh, settings are the same as your actual video itself in the sequence. Just click OK. I'm going to take that Adjustment Layer. We're going to drag it down over the clip. And we're just going to drag it out for the entire span of the clip. The reason we're going to make an adjustment layer instead of actually editing the clip is because generally when you are creating a color grade, you want it to kind of be the same color grade for the entire video. You don't want to have just multiple different colors. Maybe you do, but for the sake of this tutorial and usually for most videos, you want to stick to like the same kind of colors instead of having to edit each individual clip you could just create an adjustment layer add all your effects and your colors to that and then you could just drag it over all the clips and then just make some minor tweaking but anyways have the adjustment layer selected we're going to go to color and actually no sorry we're going to go to effects we're going to go over here if you have Magic Bullets looks uh, installed, then all you're going to do is type in Magic Bullet. Okay, here we go. We already got it up. So we, this is all the different ones that we have. So Colorista, Cosmo, Denoiser, all these. But we're going to be using looks. I'm going to take looks and drag it onto our adjustment layer. After that, we can go over here to our effects controls panel left hand side here and drag down until we see looks and you'll see this tab right here edit look so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then it's going to bring you in to magic bullet looks and this panel looks exactly the same if you're using Final Cut Pro I've actually converted over to uh, Adobe Premiere Pro from Final Cut and it, the panel looks exactly the same. So if you're whether you're using a uh, Final Cut Pro or Adobe or probably other programs too, the Magic Bullet is, is going to look exactly the same. So once you get here, this is pretty awesome. You're not going to be using anything within the Adobe Premiere Pro for this part of the process. You have so many different options here: exposure, warm, cool, contrast. We got it all. So we're going to go ahead and start by dropping on some contrast here. Double click that. And we'll start dragging this up a little bit. You don't want to go too heavy. It looks insane when you do it too much. So what we're going to do is just do it just a tad. Somewhere right in there. And you can see that it's just real subtle. This is before, that's after already. And it already looks better. And let's just go ahead and keep going forward. Exposures already looks pretty good, so I'm not going to mess with that. And click on our curves. I usually like to click a point somewhere right in this area here and drag it down just a pair. 
Somewhere right there. That's before, that's after. I like I like to drop those shadows and stuff just a bit. If you guys didn't know um, about curves, this is your shadows at the bottom of the panel. Right in here is your midtones, and these are your highlights. So depending on where you make your little points and start adjusting is the area of the image that it's going to affect. Since I click down here and drag it down a little bit, it's going to be affecting more of my shadow areas, bringing those shadows down, and making my image just a bit darker, which I think looks pretty nice. So we'll go back over here. If you did have a LUT, you can input a LUT right here, but we're not going to be using any LUTs today. Do, 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 do. Right here in uh, Colorista is awesome because you can click this, and this is where a lot of the magic happens. A lot of the uh, teal and orange looks that you'll see Hollywood films have, they have uh, the teal and the shadows, and then uh, the midtones and highlights are warmer, more in the orange area. So you can do all that right here. You just don't want to go too far with it. I generally like to stick somewhere around in this area. And we'll just take this and kind of drag it down. We don't want it to add too much of it there. Somewhere right around there. Highlights. Somewhere in there. Let's see. see, it's just real subtle stuff. You know, after you start adding all this is when it makes everything come to life. Now, say like you added a little too much blue in there, and you wanted it to be more of this turquoise look, you can always go down here and drag your blues closer to the turquoise, and then it, it'll adjust it like that. But I think this right here looks pretty good already, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to tools and see what else we want to add here. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of a vignette. Got a vignette here. You can strip this out and change the shape of it how much we would like. Mount. I like to always click the on and off too. That way I can see exactly what just happened and what's adjusted. And honestly, I think we're just going to leave the vignette out of it. Let's see. That's before, that's after. You can just, that looks so much better already, just bam. And honestly, you know what? For this particular clip, this already looks pretty good. So that's just through Magic Bullet. You can just click OK, and then you'll see that it's applied that look. So now when you go back to color, you still have all this stuff that you can still adjust. So all your contrast and highlights and all this stuff, you can just do even more that if you'd like. So let's just go ahead and mess around with this just a bit more. Now, if you want some of that uh, faded film look, which is this, I think it looks pretty good. I don't know why. It just gives off more of like a cinematic look to me. I usually like to add a little bit of that in there, so I'll add some. Probably just like right around like that. All right, so you know what? I think that looks pretty good. For the music video, usually I also like to have you know the black bars and everything added in there. So we'll go back here. We'll click uh, in the effects area. We'll just type crop. Take the crop and we'll drag that down to the uh, adjustment layer. And if you go over here to your effects control panel on the left hand side, you just kind of drag down until you see crop. And here it is, right here. So for the top, we're going to put 12.8, and we'll tab down twice and put 12.8 for the bottom. That'll add the black bars. And like I said before, you want to make sure that you're using adjustment layers for this kind of stuff. That way you're not going to be affecting 
the entire clip because then if you were to drag your image to fit correctly it would move the entire image if that makes any sense I'll just give you an example here so we're going to make sure that we have not the adjustment layer selected but the actual picture the actual image that we're working on and then we're going to go to positioning and see now we can drag up and down and kind of just get it to fit to wherever we think fits the right way if you were to go to adjustment layer and do it start moving stuff around you could see that it's just look at that it's messing up everything so you just want to stick to clicking on the actual clip itself moving it to where you think it you uh, think it looks good and then you move forward let's go ahead and play that real quick kind of stuttery let's go ahead and render this real quick I'm gonna go render into out real quick all right so this is what it looks like with the color grade let's go ahead and see what it looks like without go ahead and turn these off go here alert is it off creative curves okay so that was our raw we'll go ahead and add everything back and that's everything back with it applied just looks so much better and so much more cinematic and this is how it looks when it's actually all rendered down into the video anyways guys i hope this did help if you guys liked the video go ahead and smash that like button give it a big thumbs up i'm going to be dropping more tutorials just like this color grading effects whatever you guys think that you might need drop that information down in the comments below anything that you might need help with and i will answer it i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace